Good evening there, how are you doing? Welcome. So, it is in the evening, and we will see if I can actually play a game without playing against the most insane people ever, because I don't know why, but when I play in the morning, I I get people that are just insane, like, I'm, I was trying to do a PK video, and people just parried, like, 50% of my zone attacks. And it's crazy. Like, I, I couldn't, I couldn't for life record anything, because people were actually insane. So let's see how... Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's bad. I don't know what it is about Raider Lights, but I can't bury them. I'm alive. That was not the play. That was, that was definitely not the play. Like, the double zone attack. I was I was expecting him to either light attack me, zone faint into guard break, zone faint into top light, but everything. Yeah, there, that was a huge risk. <laughs> That's fine. That's not good. That's a good top heavy for me, though. It's good parry. That was a really good parry. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting whiff. I think he underestimated my light damage there. Because I thought my light was not going to kill him, but Round three. seems like he was exactly at 15 HP, I think. That was really close. A good parry on his part, though. He can't do that. He can't. i just getting stuck there, dude. Interesting. I'm keeping my. That was so fast, dude! Holy moly! That was so fast! No thanks. He might be dead. Yeah, he's dead. That's fine. If he parried that last attack, he would have died anyway. So I just smacked my top lane this, this, this is as hard as I could. It's really dangerous to whiff attacks against the Bushi. I mean, now it only does 18 damage, but it's still it's still damage, you know? And it's really safe because you can just dash cancel everything. So, it is dangerous indeed. Wait, takedowns, takedowns, okay, that's fine. I tried to record, I think, two days ago, and I just couldn't. And then I thought, and then yesterday I spent the whole day with my girlfriend like the entire day because she came back from her trip and I played Siege today the entire day I'm gonna try to record some Siege like some some full rank games I think probably like I, I I have a lot of clips but I think there's so many people out there on YouTube that just like cut all their clips together for Siege that are really good at the game but nobody really does like full game rank games where they commentate what they're doing you know so I thought it would be cool if I do that it's so fast dude. Close one. 
I can't bury radiolites for life, dude. Oh, God. Oh, well, he wasn't expecting the delay. There's no reason to go for these heavies. There's no reason to go for the heavies because if he cancels them into the stunning tap and I win for the heavy parry and I got stunned, there's no guarantee that I can block his light attack after I'm um, stunning tabbed. Because the light attacks, the light attack after the stunning tap are really fast. I should option select that. I don't know why he dodged that. Um, I wasn't expecting him to cancel it again. That was a lot of damage. Because he cancelled it, he cancelled the, the unblockable, I think, three times into a guard break, so I wasn't expecting him to do it again. I thought he's either let it, he's gonna let it slide. Round three. I think next time he's still. He's, he, I think he's gonna cancel it again into a guard break. I'm pretty sure. I don't know what he's trying to do. There we go. There it is. Yeah, he's not gonna go for that anymore. I was not sure if I had stamina for this. I tried to options like this time. Yeah, he cancelled again. I saw that. I can't guard break him there. It's too dangerous. That was good. Oh, that was fine. I think... Hmm. I think when I go into Hidden Stance, I mean, he can react. If I faint my heavy out of Hidden Stance, I think he's just gonna dodge and he's only gonna input his light attack. Uh, why did I Hidden Stance? That's just so fast, dude. Not too bad. I should have dodged left. That would have been smarter for me to dodge left. He's not gonna let it... Okay, that was interesting. We're good. Victory. We're good. I don't know why he... I think he was too scared that I was baiting out his stunning tab. Because I was not sure if he's going to do the stunning tab. When I light attacked out of Hidden Stance, I was like... I, I was... I was really scared he's going to do the stunning tab again. I'm never going to go for that. I'm never going to go for that. My option selected that. Hey, there it is. Oh, he's dead! That's really good. That was that was really quick. That worked out pretty well because when I top fainted, um, I think I waited long enough so I grabbed him out of his um, top heavy faint because you like Raider has a really a really good. Like a really bad, I should say, guard break vulnerability. Like, I think it's 100 ms on Raider. And if you guard break him too early, like you saw it twice, when I guard broke him too early, even though he went for the heavy, and even though he cancelled his heavy, when I tried to guard break him, I bounced off his feint. I don't know why exactly that is. And I only see it on Raider. I think on some other characters... It can happen too, but on Raider sometimes, if you if you try to guard break him after a feint, and he feints his attack, 
and you would usually grab anyone out of it out of their faint because they went for it um you grab them out of it but raiders sometimes you just bounce off and then they get a free guard break and i'm not really sure why and how that happens but i'm glad that on his top heavy it didn't happen let's see i'm glad that he played raider I'm fighting a lot of Hitakiris in duel. I think a lot of people a lot of people are catching up that she's actually pretty good in duel. Or I mean, she is good. I, I play her a little bit. And she is good, but she is really one dimensional. Like y there's not really much to do. For if you play Kensei, there there are a lot of things you can do. And it, it feel I mean Maybe there is not too much to do, but it feels, you feel, you feel like you have more that you can do with Kensei. And with Hitakiri, it's like, you know, you heavy attack on indicator and then you kick and that's pretty much it. So, I got bored really quick when I played her. Like, I was winning a lot with her, um, but I got bored really quick. Now, you can win against... You know, the turtling lawbingers, and you can win against other characters with hyper armor because you can effectively trade with them because you have a lot of health and you have 30 damage heavies. And you can even you can even vary the timings with your heavies. It's like Centurion, where you can, you know, let it go immediately, or you can charge it up a little bit, or even longer. Like you can vary the timings a lot with her. He's playing Shinobi, ballsy. Shinobi is just boring to find for me because he's more playing the whiff game, so he's like he's keeping his range and he's waiting for you to whiff something so he can land his kick. But maybe he's not gonna play that game. Most shinobis that try to play optimal try to get you to whiff something to then punish you. But Let's see how this guy plays. If he's playing, yeah. He's definitely playing the whiff game. Oh, I top lighted. Okay. Victory. So you saw him whiffing his first light attacks to then get me to do something but unfortunately his backflip isn't too crazy anymore so i was still in range to punish his whiffs okay interesting He might play his dead. He he wasn't expecting he wasn't expecting to hit the, the kick. Like the first kick. Because I, I, I thought I dodged it, but that's the thing with Sidewinder. Um if you input it too early, it's like it's like weird. You can't really dodge anything. Interesting. Oh. oh, you can hit him out of his kick. That's unlucky. That was good. Oh, that oh, you could have killed me. You know, that's the that's the problem now with Shinobi. You can hit him out of everything. Hey, hey, don't be rude. Shinobi isn't that great. He should not be mad when he loses because it's it's Shinobi. It's like when I lose as Nabushi against a warden that is just back dodging, you know? Like what am I supposed to do? You know, stare at him for for three minutes? That's the thing. Like if you if if I play against a conquer, usually like usually I just leave because it's 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 not worth your time. 
But like against the Warden, and if the Warden is really good at blocking and parrying, you can't really attack him. And if he's keeping his range, and if he back dodges on indicator, and waits for you to whiff something or attack him, there isn't really much you can do. Of course you can not attack him and not whiff anything and try to be patient. But then it's going to be a, almost a staring contest for three minutes and nobody really, like, you don't really play the game and you don't really, like, I don't, I don't know. It's like when, when you play against Kong and he's not really doing anything, are you even playing the game really? So, I mean, there are a lot of Kongs that are good and that mix up stuff. Interesting. Oh, that was a sound attack, too bad. He's gonna dot attack me only, I think. Hmm. I don't think I can kill him. Maybe if I kick him off. Hey! I got him. Victory. Oh, he's not gonna be happy about that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. He's not gonna be happy about that. I mean, he could have dodged, but he dodged my hidden stance light attack. So, hey. Oh, yeah, he's just. Oh, I should bait this out. Yeah, that followed me, okay. I don't know why it's zone. I didn't expect That's a lot of damage. Is that a light attack? No, that's a heavy attack. Interesting. Oh, he might dodge again. No, okay. I think we're dead. Death yeah, we're dead. <laughs> His thing is like slightly, slightly higher. So everything is like slightly faster. Like it's not, it's not crazy, but I'm still a little bit scared to go for light parries. Cause I don't know how fast I have to press them. Yeah, like I, I pressed it, like I, I pressed parry, but... Okay, that's a heavy, that's what we know now. <laughs> what a madman, dude. I'm blocking top. Don't attack me top. I mean, he can cancel that. That's the thing. Unlucky. Oh! <laughs> I went all or nothing there. <laughs> I mean, I honestly, I thought I was dead as soon as I committed to the heavy. Like, I was committing to the heavy and I thought he's gonna parry it because I thought like, okay, I lost, why not? Like, it's okay. I thought I was dead for sure. I tried to instance too late. Is he gonna heavy me or not? Is the question. No, never mind. Ah, oh, yeah, this is like you just back dodge everything Nabushi does. That's good. I don't know if that's a heavy or a light attack. That's not good. 
That's good for me, though. And he's dead. If he doesn't parry this, yeah, he's dead. Victory. I don't think he knew he's gonna die from the heavy. Oh, hey. Oh. That was not too bad. I think... Is, okay, so his normal dodge attack is a heavy, but his his dodge attack out of out of his key stance is that a light attack or is that a heavy attack? That's the only thing I don't know. We played two rounds. Let's just search for another one. We played two rounds against the raiders. So. <laughs> um, so when I when I went to visit my girlfriend yesterday, I brought her flowers because I thought, hey, we haven't seen each other in two weeks. Why not? I, I wanted to bring something, and I thought flowers would be like neutral, you know, like nothing special, you know, some some roses wrapped up uh, and. She was like, when I when she opened the door, she was like, Oh, come on, dude. Oh, you really brought me flowers. Like she was like, Oh, that's so oh that's so um like what's the it's I don't know what's the English word for it? Um it's like a bad way of being romantic. Like when you watch a really a really, really bad movie like a really bad high school love movie, like a teeny love movie, and it's so um, kitschig. I'm I'm not sure what it is in English. Wait a second, I, I can I can Google it. Um, and she, I mean, she's not. She doesn't have anything against against like romance or something. But wait, wait, wait. Uh, corny. Yeah, corny. Yeah. So, she was like, oh, that's so corny, dude. And... Uh, but yeah. Her, her mother thought it was sweet. Like, she was scared her mother was gonna, like, make a bad comment about how corny it is to bring flowers, but it seems like her mother liked the flowers. <laughs> we good? <laughs> uh, it was fun though oh, it was fun yesterday maybe that's why I can play the game now without being tilted because in the two weeks where we were, she was gone I really felt that well, I was not as happy as I used to, uh, that like not as happy as I normally am uh, there were some I mean, my, my sleep schedule was also really bad the past week, and now I, I kind of fixed it. So, we will see how it goes. Because I have to start working again uh, in two weeks. Like, tomorrow is Monday for me. And I have the whole next week, uh, the next week off. But then my work's gonna start again. So probably I won't upload like every day. I mean it's it's gonna depend on how much I have to do. So I might upload. I'm I'm gonna try to record a game in the evening for like half an hour. But I can't promise anything because I don't wanna when I'm not in the mood like the past the past two days when I'm really not in the mood and I tried and I like play one game and then I'm I'm I'm, I'm getting tilted I am not gonna upload that you know so I don't wanna upload content where I'm like I wouldn't watch the content when I'm not in the mood because it would tilt me to watch somebody being tilted uh, maybe I have to fix my nap because I don't know why my nap is moderate all of a sudden. It never was moderate, ever. So maybe if I 
fix my net type, my queue times will be faster again because then I can play with every everyone and now I can only play with people that have a moderate and a green net. So maybe that will that will fix my my queue time, you know. I mean it's it's 10 o'clock. I mean it's Sunday. So maybe all the kids are asleep because the school starts tomorrow for them. I mean, here in... Um, it doesn't really matter. But I think school starts soon. Like the summer holidays are over. Maybe that's why everyone is asleep. I thought maybe the reason why everyone was so insane was that, you know, it was holidays and everyone was just playing nonstop. Nobody has anything to do, so they're just playing. And I tried to record um, 8 a.m. Like, it was 8 a.m. And it was hard, dude. It was hard. Let me tell you. I played PK, Rochi. I was stupid to play Rochi. After I played PK, I tried to Rochi, and I was like, nah. Yeah, I hate the Kiris. You can't escape them. Like, people playing a lot of Hitakiri because you, you're winning with her. That's the thing. Like, she's not exciting, but let's be real. People people don't play characters. A lot of people don't play characters that they enjoy. They play characters that are good so they can win and then enjoy themselves winning. Yeah, just press heavy, press heavy on indicator. Um. Yeah, he can block. Nice. That was out of range. Interesting. I don't have stamp for this. And... Die, die, die. <laughs> Calculated. Calculated. <laughs> How am I winning? Today has been a good day. I mean, in Siege, it wasn't that good because we, like, I dual queued and my, my team was really bad all the time. That's good. That's also good. That's fine. That's fine. That's good. Don't parry me. Don't parry me. That's bad. No! Oh, he was so low. I got impatient. I got impatient. I need to keep my range and warp with Hidden Sands. The danger is that he could just press heavy and like he has so many heavy timings that I, I'm i never sure when I can parry. Like because he can just press heavy. Mix up? Oh, press heavy, dude. Yeah. Uh, mix up? Oh, press, press heavy. Oh, he catched my roll. Mix up, just press heavy. I mean, it's nice. It's it's nice for for characters to have hyper armor because it because you can actually attack people. You know, like you can you can smack attacks, but. If you play against these characters, you can't attack them. Like, it, it just makes it that you can't attack them, because you never know if they're just gonna... Hmm. I parried that. I parried that. Game. This is bad. It's 
see how many heavy timings he has. Oh, he's dead. Victory. Like that heavy, the last heavy he did was right before his unblockable came. So that was, that was like, Round five. he has normal heavy, like slightly delayed heavy, even more delayed heavy, and then the almost unblockable heavy, and then the normal heavy. I'm waiting for him to whiff and heavy. Whoa, calm down, champ. The fuck? I'm scared. Uh, please, 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 please. Please, 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 please. Uh. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I need to keep my range, dude. Like, Nobu, Nobu is really about range. Holy shit! <laughs> oh, I oh, felt for it. <laughs> oh, oh, dude, these games are closed, dude. Holy moly. Oh, my heart. My heart. All right, all right. Let, let me, let me calm down. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make make sure to smash that like <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Somebody told me my outros are so cringy. <laughs> I understand, dude. I understand. Alright, see ya.